Hey everyone and welcome back to another episode of our Pokemon VGC 2019 Battle Series. It is Friday, thank goodness it's Friday. I hope you're all doing well. As I say, thank you so much for tuning in. Uh, we kicked off this week with the team you can see on your screen right in front of you now. As always, it is down in the description below. There is a Roll Pace, Poker Pace, check it out, try it out. Let me know if you do try it out, what your thoughts are on it. I've had a lot of fun with the team this week, so I hope you have been enjoying the episode so far this week. If you've missed any of the games from this week, you'd like to go back check them out before coming into this one I'll link a card up there for you can check those out come into today's episode and uh, you'll all be up to date with what's been going on with the team it's got a lot of fun shenanigans that uh, have been going on and I think in a best of one situation it's really really strong um, but I'd like to test it out in a best of three I really would I think it's still got a lot of potential for best of three but best of one it probably does a lot better than you, uh, than best of three maybe but maybe not as well and um, one of the things that we will do is just recap the team before jumping into today we've also got the primal Kyogre it's pretty straightforward modest 252 um, special attack speed there we've got the tornadoes it is very bulky it's got a berry I couldn't really expend the focus sash on it so we've put that onto the Togunamaru, um which is a little bit better because of the lightning rod but then we can take advantage of Endeavor that we've got on them we've seen that do some work this week so hopefully that continues as we go on got the Xerneas uh, pretty standard there Geomancy Power Herb the Kangaskhan we've got Bite on it we saw it do really well over the weekend at the um, the international championships the European ones there so we're going to give that a run out this week and Kangaskhan honestly has been doing some nice work I don't know whether to go a bit more bulky there we've just went really standard on it really fast really offensive and it seems to be doing a nice job the only thing I would say maybe worth looking at would be changing the the return there for the double edge uh, we've run into a few issues there we've missed the KO and it's proved pretty crucial whereas if we picked up the knockout it would have tilted the game probably in our favor um, and then the Serena there with the Z move which just supports tornadoes because we haven't got protect there we got role play on it so um, just to kind of protect it from opposing fake outs and things like that so we haven't really utilized it very much we haven't used the Z move on it so maybe that's a slot we can look at um, going forward to to change up and give us a bit more support especially against something like Tapu Lele so um, as I say we'll change things up on Monday but the team's down in the pace below let's crack some music on and get into this one today as always guys if you do enjoy the content please make sure to drop a like on the video do subscribe to the channel for more Pokemon content and do leave your comments down below because like I say every single episode I do really love hearing from you guys we have such a lovely and amazing community amazing bunch of people here and it is just a, a great just hearing from you all. I'll jump over to the proper screen. Ah, uh, but we've missed it. But I'm on a rating of 16, I think 80 something. We'll find out in game, but we'll hop over to team preview because I'm just too slow with clicking around. But our first opponent today playing Rayoga, we've got Tapu Koko, Tapu Lele, Incineroar, and Bronzong. I think we've played this team already this week. I'm pretty sure. So this is like game two. I'm pretty sure we've played it. The Tapu Lele is always a pain for us to deal with. Um, Rayquaza is obviously going to be uh, difficult for us as well, um, but we do want to go Tornadoes here. We, you know, the Bronzong is going to be something with Mental Herb. Um, I do want to go Kangaskhan, I think. Oh, do I want to go Togodomaru? Togodomaru is probably better, I think, for the Nuzzle ability. Um, and then Xerneas is always going to be good. It's just dealing with the Bronzong that's a bit of an issue. Um, but Endeavor does nice there. Kyogre is always going to be good. And it's down to Xerneas or Kangaskhan, really. Um, and honestly, I'm feeling more Xerneas. More Zern. I think I'm going to go Zern here. Yeah, we'll do that. We'll lock in and we'll get into this first one today. So good luck to my opponent. Hope you enjoy this first one to kick us off today. Right. Yeah, I think we played this. This guy or girl, this trainer, earlier on the, this week, um, but I can't remember the exact details of the match. I know we probably came out victorious, but it would have been very close. The Lele causes us all sorts of problems. So does the Bronzong. Bronzong Lele. All the sidekick. And we haven't got any dark either, which makes... Well, we've got a little bit of dark on Kang, haven't we? Uh, there's the Kyogre coming out. Hmm. Didn't we get caught out by the Lele switching in for the Bronzong and the Kyogre just nuking us with uh, a water spout? I'm pretty sure that's what happened. 
<laughs> and are they going to do it again? Or are they just going to set up Trick Room now? Because I'm thinking if they try that again... I'm, hmm, I, I can't... I can't physically set up a Tailwind in front of this Bronzong. It's like it goes against everything that I want to do. Could fake it out. But I just... I don't feel like doing that either. Hmm... We could just double into the... Ah, I'm going to taunt. I need to prevent. I don't care if the Lele comes in there. And I'm going to go for a nuzzle into the Kyogre. What are we going to see my opponent do? Kyogre protecting. The Bronzong staying in this time. So I'm pretty sure, like, if my memory serves me right, that's what happened. Are we going to see a Mental Herb, though? No Mental Herb. So it's going for the Trick Room. Yeah, there we go. Ha! catch you out my friend fool me once <laughs> you probably will fool me again through this match but we'll, we'll try and get around things it's nice that we get the, the um it's nice that we are able to get the uh the taunt there um i'm just gonna hurricane and i'm gonna nuzzle into this kyoga i don't know what comes in on this slot but whatever comes in we can paralyze bronze is not paying too much Gonna see it switch out now, we're gonna see Tapu Lele hit the field. We've got a hurricane and the nuzzle into this Kyogre, which puts us in a little bit of a better place. Now we could have went for the nuzzle into that Tapu Lele, which would have been maybe a little bit better to just to, to nuke that in the next turn, but we do have access to our tailwind because after the hurricane, um, I was a little bit confused earlier in the week where I was like, we should take a water spout, but we have to hurricane the Kyogre to take the water spout. Oh, that's even better for us, you know. Um, now we can. Go for um, a Tailwind. I think we go for the Tailwind now. And we just go for a Nuzzle into the Lele. Um, shut this down. Tailwind. No switches out for my opponent. So that's good. Nuzzle into the Lele. Ooh, Lele is not actually scarfed. Which is interesting. So, let's see what that does. Paralyzed. Come on, double paralyzed. No, Origin Pulse. Okay, that's fine. We get the... Uh, the thing is now that like we'll be down to our Slash with Togemaru, which opens up the door for our um, Endeavor support, which is the big thing here, um, because we can start doubling into stuff. Um, hurricane, I think what we'll do is go for a Hurricane. Hmm. Oh, we're just out of berry range with Tornadus as well, which is a little bit annoying. Um, yeah, well, Hurricane, Kyogre, we'll go for Endeavor into Tapu Lele. Let's see. I wonder what protect here. Mm, protect from the Lele. Okay. We could get really fortunate and see the uh, the Kyogre just... Well, it could get confused here and then Parafusion from back in the day could kick in, couldn't it? Oh, it's going to happen! We Are we Mystic Meg? No, I don't think so. But is it going to actually be able to attack? No, it's not. Okay. Things going from bad to worse for my opponent now. We can double in on this Lele and get rid of it now. Um, or we could just get rid of the Kyogre. I'm going to go for the Lele. I'm just going to Endeavor. Yeah, Endeavor Hurricane. That'll be enough to get it. Because Togunamaru moves before the Lele. Ah, oh, And I mean, we have been pretty brutal with the RNG there. You cannot blame my <laughs> opponent for... Um, for full fit in there. I do apologize. That's It's not really how you want the games to go. Um, but I mean, when you've got tools in your team that are able to kind of cause that disruption, it's going to happen at some point. It will happen, but it's never it's never nice. Um, so um, I do throw out a little bit of sympathy for my opponent there because I know how I'd feel if I was <clears throat> on the receiving end of it. Um, but it's always it's always one of those things when it's gone in your favor. It's like ah, oh, it's like the best thing in the world, but it's it's horrible. As I say, it's horrible for your opponent when it is happening because you just think, oh, why is this happening to us? Why did we deserve this? And there's no reason. It's just the game being the game at times, isn't it? So, um, hopefully they have a really nice run from now on. Let's go, Team Skull Boss. Let's go for it because Guzma is the man. He is the man. He is the bad guy that turns good. Spoiler. Spoiler all over. I'm sure everyone's played through Ultra Sun and Moon. If you haven't, and I've just wrecked that for you, I do apologize. <clears throat> but, um, yeah, Guzman's a cool guy. Um, but we're close to 1700. It'd be nice to get a win to knock us over into that going into the weekend to come back next weekend. 
with with that 1700. So let's see what we can do because we've got an next opponent and we'll jump straight into team preview. So our next opponent running a team of Xerneas requires a Tapu Koko, Incineroar, Suicune, and Ferrothorn. So a really nice build here. I know uh, it's very similar to a team I think Mr. GX on the uh, Showdown ladder has been playing, who is a very, very solid ladder player. Um, so if this is any inspiration from his build, uh, it's going to be a very tough team to play. You've got Tailwind support from the Suicune here. Not really any other speed control uh, that I can really see on this team. Maybe Electro Web on the type of Coco. You could have Icy Wind on the Suicune. It's probably got Raw as well. Uh, it's a really nice support option, but the Serena could do a decent job for us here. Like, like really decent job for us here. Um, we do need to be very careful. I think one thing that we need to watch out for is this Ferrothorn. Uh, it can cause us lots of problems, and we're going to find it very hard to deal with, uh, especially with the stuff that we've got in our team. I think, though, what I would like to do is probably go Xerneas Togodomaru here. Um... Or do I not go Xerneas because of the, the Suicune? That makes things a little bit more difficult. Um, mm. I'm going to go Serena Xerneas. I'm going to go Togunamaru and I'm going to go Kyogre in the back. And we're going to go lock in. And see if we can get around it this way. Let's see. I feel like not bringing Kang makes the, the Ferrothorn matchup even more difficult. Uh, so we're, like, we're relying on Togunamaru with Endeavor here to deal with the the Ferrothorn, which is never good. I don't think our selection here has been very good at all, but we'll see. Okay, requires a Ferrothorn coming up for my opponent. I wonder if it's Banded Ray as well. Hmm. Alright, let's see what we can do. I mean, priority number one is trying to get rid of the Ferrothorn for sure. Let's bring in Togodomaru. If Togodomaru takes potentially a Dragon Ascent here, we can get maybe a Moonblast. Moonblast and Endeavor into that Ferrothorn. And we've got the Endeavor off before Anzonius moves, so it might be putting that Ferrothorn in enough range. With that tiny HP to pick up a knockout there, potentially. Now, what's the Rayquaza going to do? I'd imagine it does Dragon Ascent here, for sure. It probably doesn't focus down on the, the Zerny stuff, because you've got Ferrothorn that can do, deal with that pretty comfortably. Um, so, I'd imagine you'd go for the Dragon Ascent into the Togodomaru here. Then, the next thing you've got to worry about potentially fake out into that slot. Dragon Ascent, yeah, into Togi. Now we're like minimum speed IVs on this Togi tomorrow. So this might, if it's banded, nah, it's still not doing enough, is it? <laughs> okay. Marathon Jarable, yeah, okay. I'm gonna do Endeavor. Mm. I don't really want a Geomancy here, that's the thing. And I think the Rayquaza protects, if anything, or switches out. Sixty-eight HP. Is that going to be enough to get the Ferrothorn with Endeavor? It's just whether or not the Ferrothorn has a berry here as well. That's the big thing. I'm going to go for the Endeavor for sure, and I'm going to go for a Moonblast as well into the Ferrothorn. Ooh! See the Rayquaza just Dragon Ascent. It's going into the Xerneas. It's probably banded. I think we should take it though. Yeah, just about. Oh, we would have been better going for the uh, the Dazzling Gleam there, wouldn't we? Oh, we're not going to get... We're not going to get it with Moonblast from this range. No way. Huh. No. And there's the berry. There's the berry. Okay, we've still got some options. We've still got some options. It's not over just yet. It's kind of over, isn't it? Yeah, this is terrible. Hmm. Okay. What can we do? Let's bring in Kyogre. Because one of the things we could potentially do is nuzzle that Rayquaza now. Protect Kyogre. If we can do that, then we can endeavor Origin Pulse or endeavor Water Spout. 
into the Ferrothorn. Oh man, bringing the cat, not bringing Kang here has just screwed us so hard. <laughs> Uh, oh, even Tornadus. Tornadus would have been way better as well. Getting the, the, the tailwind up. Um, we're really, we're really struggling here. Um, yeah, we need to nuzzle the ray. And see if we can get, like Togonomar should get this nuzzle off. Should. Oh, we're 1697 our rating, so we're even closer to 1700. So this is this is heartbreaking if we can't do this, but we've got no one else to blame but our team selection here. So as a protect on the Kyogre, um, Dragon Ascent, it is into the Kyogre, so we are going to get this nuzzle off, which is which is really nice. Um, okay, that's good. Uh, requires a kind of out of action now. Jarabol into the Kyogre as well. Okay. Hmm. Now, do we go for the Endeavor play again and the Water Spout? I wonder if a Water Spout can get the Rayquaza from this range. It is minus two defense. It is a Dragon type, though, so it's going to be able to... I think it'll be pretty close. I think it will be pretty close. It's just if Serena is the only thing in the back that we've got left to deal with, it, um, it just... I reckon we can get... We can definitely get the Ferrothorn from here. It's just whether or not the Ferrothorn protects or not. Uh... I'm going to just endeavor. I'm just hoping that we can get the Rayquaza with minus two with a water spout from here. Yeah, it makes sense to do that. It's going to be about if we get the... Oh, it's not banded. Huh. Damn, that does so much damage. Man. Ugh. Okay, we'll take another... We'll take another extreme speed. Wow. Okay, we get the Rayquaza anyway. Critical hit. So we get lucky there. You get really lucky. It's not banded Ray, which is interesting. I guess it probably would have been doing more damage. That's the thing. Okay. Oh, what do we do? What do we do here? Because if we don't target the Xerneas, then uh, it gets a Geomancy up, which we don't want. Origin Pulse will not get the Ferrothorn from this range. And it really depends then what my opponent's last Pokemon is. You've got to think it probably is the Incineroar. Which if it is, makes things very difficult for us. Um, now we could just Origin Pulse, get rid of the Ferrothorn, and Endeavor. Or we could Endeavor the Xerneas. I'm going to do the Xerneas here and just Origin Pulse and hope we can get the Xerneas. Like, hopefully we take the Moonblast. Come on, Togi. Togi! Ah, at least it's not a Geomancy, but we lose. We need a Power Whip miss here. And I mean, nah, that's done. That is done. Not bringing the Kang here really cost us. I think that's a big thing. Yeah, there's a Power Whip and uh, Serena, the only thing we've got left in our arsenal. Probably not going to be enough to deal with everything. Definitely not. We're not going to wait to hit the Ferrothorn. Because <laughs> we haven't got a high jump kick on it. Which would have been really useful. But we needed the pivot with U-turn. Ah, what a, what a miserable way to end this episode. With this battle. But, I mean... Yeah, we said it from the start. It was going to be... Going to be difficult to deal with the Ferrothorn. My opponent's made all the right plays. So we're just going to see another Moonblast. Um, Serena will take it. And we will get the Bloom Doom off. So at least we featured everything pretty much this week. The Bloom Doom from this arena. I'm going to take down the Xerneas. But it's a bit too late for us to come back from in this one. Um, yeah, we needed Kang to deal with that. Now that's the other thing. Like Ferrothorn um, and obviously Tapilera are two things that we've, we've got big, big issues with in this team. Um, so we need something to kind of deal with both of those. Um Maybe high jump kick on Serena does well, but I don't know. Yeah, survive with 2 HP. 2 HP, let's see. We can see the last Pokemon at least. Ah, that is... Yeah, it's in Cinema. Hmm. Hmm. Togunomaru takes that Moonblast there. Still, the Ferrothorn would have been around, so I don't think it would have been any different because we still lose the... Um, 
Let's take ourselves down with a feint, unless we get faked out. Well, we can't because of the Queenly Majesty ability. So let's self-sacrifice on these iron barbs. Oh, we, that doesn't make contact. Oh, that's interesting. So Flare Blade's going to just incinerate uh, Serena. I should have known that, actually. Feint doesn't make contact. Isn't It's not a contact move, so that's interesting. For future as well. Okay. Good game to my opponent. A little bit sad that we're ending with a, a loss there, but we'll come back stronger next week. We'll make some changes. We've got some really good information this week. Tapalele is a bit of an issue. Um, we can play around it. It is very difficult. Uh, we really need to utilize Togodomaru. Uh, Ferrothorn, we need to bring Kangaskhan. And it would be nice to have something elsewhere in the team that can deal with with Ferrothorn as well. Obviously not having an Incineroar like you would normally rely on makes it a little bit more difficult to deal with. So they're the, they're the big key areas that we're going to look at going into making changes on Monday. So we'll wrap things up there, guys. Do leave your comments, though. Let me know what you think, uh, changes-wise, you'd make to the team going into next week. It has been a lot of fun with the team. Like, I've had a really nice run with it this week. I think it's got some really nice elements to it. It's a little bit different from what we're seeing at the minute as well. So I do hope you've enjoyed it. Um, but I would be really interested to know what your thoughts are going forward with the team um, and what you would maybe change to alleviate the issues that we've kind of come up against this week. Um, so I'll look forward to reading those as and when you do leave your comments. So have a great weekend, guys, whatever you're up to. Um, and we'll be back for more uh, VGC Battle Spot action on Monday with some changes in mind. So until then, guys, take care of yourselves. Have a great weekend, and I'll see you all later. So until then, bye-bye.